In this video, I'm going to show you how to read data from S3 using Python. So to do this, we will use the Boto3 module, which is an AWS SDK for Python. We'll create an S3 client and then use the get object method of S3 client to uh, read the data from S3 using Python. So first, let's look at this get object method and its syntax and let's try to understand this method. Then we will write a program to read the data from S3 using Python. Okay, so I'm in this Boto3 documentation for S3. Uh, if you once you create a client s3 client like this using boto3 these are all the methods that you can call on this s3 client so to read the data from uh, s3 we will use the get object method of s3 client which is here okay let's click on that method and try to understand the syntax of that so if you see here it says that it retrieves the objects from amazon s3 so to do this you basically need to have read 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 access to that object so let's look at the syntax here so if you see here client dot get object we need to pass this uh, parameters uh, bucket and all so there are a lot of parameters here or uh, not all these are uh, compulsory i will just use this bucket and key parameter here so i will read try to read a file from a bucket and a key that is present in that bucket okay so let me show you the data that i am trying to read in my s3 bucket so if you see here this is the data that i will read let me show you how the data looks like so that when we when we read the data we can verify if uh, that read correctly so this is the json data that i have or uh, it's like very simple name uh, details name age salary okay so we will write a program to read this file uh, using python if you see here uh, this is the request syntax and in the response syntax we need to we will have a lot of uh, parameters in the response as well so we will uh, just use this body so this is the one which will contain the con contents of the file that we have read okay so now let's start writing our uh, code okay i have it already uh, the code so i'm just importing the boto3 and json modules this one is basically not needed. so i have created a s3 client uh, using the boto3 boto3 client s3 so once i have created the client s3 client i will have all the methods available on this s3 client so i am calling the get object method on the s3 client and i am passing two parameters the bucket which i just showed you my bucket uh, this and the key is json data dot json the key is the name of the file that is present in your bucket okay if the file is present in any direct inside a directory in your bucket you can give the key like this okay if this is suppose this file is present inside a directory called abc in your bucket you can pass it like this okay so uh key is the not just the name of the file it's like the path inside the s3 bucket you can take it like that so i am going to give it json data dot json so in the response like i showed you i need the body okay and since this response of body will be a streaming body object i am going to call the read method on that uh, body so once i have done that i will print the data so it's a very simple code uh, to read the data from s3 so let me run this code now if you uh, don't have the setup to run this code i have a video on how to set up to uh, run the i mean uh, code in your local uh, you can check out that video so yeah my code succeeded if you see here it just printed out the uh, data that it read if you see here it has the details name abc age 25 salary 47 so this is the uh, json data that we had in our s3 file so that's how you use the get object method to read data from s3 bucket hope you understood if you like the video uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please uh, subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you